And brainstorming is something most of us are familiar with, but I'll repeat the rules. The idea behind brainstorming is you make everybody equal in the meeting. You ask for people to, to uh, propose ideas, free thinking ideas without criticizing them to solve some particular problem. And it's important how you define the problem. You know, it's one thing to say, uh, let's brainstorm on how to increase sales. That'll get you one set of responses. You'll get a different set if you say, how are we gonna increase sales a million dollars in the next 90 days? You'll get a completely different kind of brainstorm. So how you set up the brainstorm is really important and letting people uh, speak without fear of being criticized is another. And you create this dynamic of quickly coming up with some ideas like we show here on the screen for increasing sales. The next thing you do then is give everybody 100 points and say, now each of you, I would like to evaluate these ideas and a vote with your 100 points as to which ones you would spend time and money on implementing. Now, this voting is, has a set of rules too. Each person has 100 points. You can't talk to other people. You have to come up with your own conclusions. Nobody can see each other's results. And then after the results are in, then you have each person one at a time explain why they voted the way they did. An interesting thing happens when this takes place. Everybody gets equal billing to represent their point of view and you get different perspectives. This guy's in sales, this guy's in marketing, this guy's in engineering, and you learn things by giving equal time to everyone. And what happens at the end of this is you vote again, and the group as a whole, whole comes together with their own view of a single set of priorities. And it's amazing the attitude. People come out of here saying, I participated in this, and they're behind the decision. They understand how the decision was made, and even if their thing was not number one on the list, they still support because they were part of this. This is a great way to build teamwork because it causes the guys that are less likely to talk and, be, and who might get stepped on by the more dominant people to learn to speak up and that their input is valued.